Okay, what is up everyone? I'm gonna go ahead, we're just gonna break down gold. We had uh, market open, obviously, yesterday. So we're gonna look and see where we're at, what we are expecting, quote unquote expecting, and how we'll be anticipating the market moves. I was going to say reacting, but that's definitely not the word. So how are we going to be anticipating the market moves? Um, if you saw the markups that I did for gold, you... Okay, maybe that'll help. Yeah, if you've seen the markups that I've done for gold now, all you have to do is go into my profile and you'll be able to see how we did our analysis markups what i was looking at that'll give more of a detailed report um with a more in-depth analysis but it's pretty much looking exactly like uh we had planned so this is the one hour still rejecting off of this uh resistance up top can extend our box over this is shorter term, but if you pull this out onto the four hour time frame, you'll see that we have some touches back here as well. And it just continues to happen all the way over to the left. But that's all we really need. This one, this one, this rejection. Um, this is the four hour. That's where I'm making my calls off of gold currently is on the four hour time frame. Uh, what we would need to see on gold, um, again, is on the analysis that I did yesterday, but just for kicks and giggles, I'd really like to see some type of movement down, push back up, break that high, give us a pullback, then take off. Um, giving us this larger flag right here but simultaneously giving us this uh head and shoulders this would be your left that is not an l this would be our left shoulder and then of course our right Too committed to drawing these letters at this point, so I couldn't let that go. Um, so yeah, so that would be the ideal turnout for this market. However, you could get a push back above. If we get a push back above, I wouldn't mind taking the first flag. And taking that up to these higher zones at 2347 900 and then 20 2450 37 um those are the highs that I'm looking to target on the higher time frame and then let's go ahead and get into current price if we look it's not really doing anything. We're starting to get a little bit of momentum in the market. Um, I was looking for a sell opportunity last night. We never got it. Kind of just got a break below, close back above. So no opportunity there. And then we just ended up forming this little bit bigger flag. This is a 15 minute liquidity zone that I'm going to be targeting where we could get pretty much this but the way the market's trending I, it's, I'm not sure it's, it's not really that valid anymore I'm not going to be taking any trades based off of this um since it didn't take this out, I'm not looking for it to go higher. So I it might break this high. It might even break this little high. But what's important is this one. This is the one that we want to pay attention to. Let me grab my little arrow somewhere in this thing.
that's the high that we want to pay attention to. These other two are kind of null and void. Um, it didn't even break it here. So we really have, to, after this one, this, this is what's good, okay, is we failed to break it after here. This failed to break this high. Um, this high never broke higher than this. And we have this high that just formed. So we're seeing where market wants to go. If it doesn't break those again, then we probably are going to get that bit of a steeper correction. And then we can look for the market to go more to the downside. But as of right now, nothing's really forming up on gold. That's okay. Like I said, it's if you go out on the four hour time frame, it just hasn't formed anything. Like maybe it's the start of like a wedge right here to then go higher, but the four hours where we're going to be getting our clarity on gold at the moment and nothing like I said, I'd either want a clear indication that it's come down here and grabbed in this area before taking off, giving us this larger flag, or I want to see it go ahead and push above, break that, then come back in, give us something down here, then take off to the high. Um, Grabbing this area down here and then taking off. That would also be the preferred entry. Other than that, I'm not taking any trades off of it. Uh, patience pays, so we're just going to be patient in this. There's nothing else really to it. Um, we have our ascending. Let's tighten this up. To here. Yeah, I like that a lot more. And then everything else is going to stay the same. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. It never broke these lows. It kind of played around in this area, which is kind of what we're looking for on our lower time frame now. Okay. Say so this... It's kind of what we're looking for and wanting down here. Um, if you look at the daily time frame, which we're on, a lot of movement up top. Um, it's kind of like a, a doji on the daily, huge bearish, and, um, sorry, a huge bullish engulfing on the four hour. So now that we kind of piddling around, we never broke these highs, like I said. Once we drop down to the one hour, we haven't broken any of these highs, so we would need some type of significant movement in the market to get get the go ahead in order to take this higher. Let's check out the dollar real quick. Yep, we got the first rejection off the dollar, still coming back to this area. Um, daily time frame. Like I said, on the same thing on the dollar, we either want a clear break below, and then we would be looking to take this to the downside, like this. Because if you're rushing to get in the cell here, Okay, if you're rushing to get into the cell here, you missed it because you would have need to have grabbed the cell in these two areas here and here. That's where you would need to participate. So if you're participating down here in the cell, then you're breaking through a major zone and then you're about to catch all this consolidation. So then you're going to find yourself in the situation of where you could have just waited for a flag to form some type of liquidity zone some type of pattern to form 
um, you wouldn't be out your money because you might enter too early, you might enter too late, and you just want to wait for the market to tell you. So yeah, in this situation, we want a clear breakthrough, and I mean a clear breakthrough this structure. Then giving us some type of pattern right here. For a continued sell or we want to get a clear rejection up. Like this right here, giving us the pullback. Here's the key. It makes a clear high, then it gives us a pullback. It fails to break this low. It's failed to break this low. It never broke below this support. And now we've made a new, quote unquote, like a lower high in this situation. It made a higher low. And as soon as we get that imbalance between a um, lower high and a higher low, we wanted to push back up, just barely break it, form some type of pattern right here in this area. We enter in with a reduced risk um, or a risk entry, and then go ahead and take this up to the top side. And then we would have this right here, the daily liquidity zone as a target, and then a weekly liquidity zone. If it does break below to the bottom, then we're looking for this. That's why I'm not worried about catching the first impulse down because you're just like freaking out over spare change. You know, look at that bigger move that's going to form. I promise. That's, that's like that saying, you know, if you're, if you think that there's only one bus that comes through town a week, the odds of you being freaked out over missing that bus are pretty high. Like you're going to be always worried about catching that one bus. But if you know there's many buses that come to the station every single day, every single week, and really I want to say week, every single week, you know there's more than one bus that's going to come, you're not going to be so worried about trying to catch that trade. So... Hopefully that one recognizes with you as well if you find yourself in the position to where you uh, rush into trades because I'm still guilty of it sometimes myself. Um, not perfect. The whole point of trading is to always be refining, to always be growing. Even your strategy will change, how you look at the market change. The market's going to go through cycles. It's going to have its different, you know, phases. So you as a person, you always have to be willing to adapt and grow. So there's the dollar. There's gold. Those are the main ones that we're worried about. Uh, Tesla, it bounced beautifully off our liquidity zone to bounce back up. So there is a 200 point opportunity for a short position on Tesla the other week from when we um, marked it up and talked about it. Uh, let's check out Bitcoin. Bitcoin looks like it's about to hit our area. Let's look on the daily. Yeah, it got significantly higher. And you can also go back and look at Bitcoin on uh, one of the streams that I did. We talk about Bitcoin. Let's go take a look at US 30.
So some some of you may be wondering why I've s this is down here and not up top. Um, if we go down to our four hour time frame, I'm pretty positive I have this marked off of uh, a liquidity zone over here. And that's where we're grabbing from. Yeah. Because this This right here is really the start of the move. That's the first impulse down where we break structure, indicating that we've completely changed directions. And then this up top is still a part of this move. Like this is its own thing right there. So I'm not going to use that as the high reference. And that's also just from years of marking up charts. You're like, after you get into this, it's like an unconscious thing. So you'll unconsciously be looking at the market. So yeah, nothing exciting going on. That's perfect. You'd rather be sitting here kind of waiting for the market to tell you something than you jumping into the market just because you want to trade. So sit wait be patient i'll keep uh, updating the market on gold and the dollar if you have anything you um want me to look at or want me to add to my watch list i'll make a separate watch list and i'll even mark those up for you i'll tag your username so that way you know and uh yeah just put it in the comments below this video and I hope you enjoyed. Yep, pretty short session. It's 2.50 a.m. my time. Uh, that's mountain time. And we will catch y'all on this next stream. And I will also be publishing some ideas today as an update, like midway through the day. And then Asia session, you can expect another video of, you know, where the market ended. So, and usually since it's outside of my trading range, like my trading range is from Asia to like about this time London. And if there's no movement inside of Asia to London, then I just miss it. Um, if you have a set time that you know to come look at the market, you open yourselves up to less risk percentage being on the table so you're not risking as much so that's something that i do inside of my edge that helps me refine my risk management so hopefully uh you can take that one away as well and yeah again i will catch you all next stream peace